the big boot on the mark. I would be remiss if I didn't mention, and it's important to remember amidst the chaos of a triple threat match, that victory can be achieved in many different ways, and that it's every man for himself. It's worth noting that a lot of people give ECW credit for popularizing the triple threat match back in the mid to late 1990s. Wow. Look, Triple H is on the attack now. Man, Triple H, what offense. He's trying to mangle his face here. Look, Triple H is on the attack now. One move after the other. It's devastating. And he's heading back in. And a basement drop kick. Bang, right to the face. He hits the axe handle. Oh, I think this man needs business. He's inflicting some serious pain here. Strategy against Kane? I don't know. How about retiring from sports entertainment? Look, you have to stay away from the demon's power. Kane is so strong, he can mutilate an opponent with his bare hands. Triple H with some reason to worry here. He's really going to need to create some space for himself. I hate to say it, but if he doesn't change his game plan soon, these two guys are going to tear him limb from limb. When it comes to Kane, the physical and demonic powers of this monster are one and the same. A superstar cannot afford to have the demon pulverize them with move after move. It won't last very long. It seems impossible to be able to stay away from Kane's crushing power, but if a superstar has the unenviable task of going up against the demon, it's what they're going to have to do. Oh, he turns it around. History has shown that the fire to annihilate is always burning inside Kane. What we don't know is when the demon will appear. I'll tell you, the face taking some serious damage here. Kane in defensive mode here. He may have to start reevaluating his Ouch. game plan. The dangers of this triple threat match appear to have escalated quickly on him. And this has all the makings of getting out of hand fast. He better be careful. I've personally been attacked by Kane, so I speak from experience when I say the monster doesn't discriminate. The feeling of fear is very real when you see Kane walking towards you. It's a horror no one should experience. The music, the fires of hell, the image of Kane, all these things are horrifying. And then the behemoth begins his assault on an opponent. I'm getting chills just talking about this. Flattens him with a clothesline. You know, no matter how many times I see a Hell in a Cell match, I'm always amazed at what these competitors are willing to put themselves through. Look at this! Miz! And the Miz delivers the snap DDT, and that should do it. You have to like his chances here. Whoa, Triple H dodged that one. Byron, before you mention the strategy some superstars have implemented for competing in a triple threat match, and that includes having a finishing maneuver to put someone away for the 1-2-3 and a submission to make them tap out. There are many superstars in WWE who can do just that, which makes them even more dangerous to opponents. The way I look at it is you can never have enough weapons at your disposal, especially in something like a triple threat match. If a superstar can defeat someone by pinfall and submission, to me, they increase their chances of victory in a match where the odds are against them to begin with. Guys, we oftentimes talk about the dangers of competing inside Hell in a Cell. But let's not forget these competitors aren't the only ones in there. It could be just as dangerous for the official as well. Nice job by The Miz. I agree with Michael's point on the dangers of this match. I mean, the environment is so brutal for all involved. Just go back to look at referee Tim White after he officiated one of those matches. Yeah, he was never the same after that. In fact, White said Hell in a Cell ruined his life. 
Great offense by The Miz. This is a level of destruction no one was expecting. Oh, the reversal by The Miz. Triple H. What a spine buster by the game. Here's his mom. There's the cover. Can he do it? Oh, my. How in the world did he kick out of that? Yeah, somehow The Miz finds a way to stay alive despite being battered and broken down. Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. Oh, I think this man means business. Kane being tested here. The triple threat match is definitely beginning to test his metal. This is all but over. Oh, man, he has plenty of reason to be concerned here, guys. But you know what? So does his opposition. This is about as close as it gets. I really can't believe what's gone down so far. This match has been even more physical than I thought it would be. Going for something else, it seems. I suspect he knows something that we don't, Cole. Why else would he just let him out of that hole? And there's an extremely destructive strike. Oh, boy, he is rolling. He's inflicting some serious pain here. He releases it. And you can debate whether or not that would have been the end. Interesting decision there. And he hits a vicious neck breaker. When you look inside that cell and see all this carnage, you can't help but wonder just how much more of this these superstars can take. Connor with a big boot! On the mark. The Miz was able to get out of the way there. Watch it! Miz! Go, Pussy Finale! And there it is, boys. is looking in this skull crushing finale wow kane is getting absolutely pummeled absolutely punishing beautiful swinging neck breaker The longer this fight goes on, the more wear and tear on each competitor. Who is going to have enough to pick up the win? I've seen countless triple threat matches over the years, and I can confidently say that this one ranks right up there with some of the all-time best. I'll tell you what, this is one they'll be talking about tomorrow at Worker School, that's for sure. Looks to me like these superstars are running on fumes right about now. This might just be one of the most intense Hell in a Cell matches I've seen in quite some time, guys. That'll have you worrying about long-term injuries for sure. When this guy's on, look out. How these superstars are even still in this match is beyond me, especially given how intense the match has been.
The match isn't even over, and I can already tell you that this is one of the most exciting triple threat matches I have seen in a very long time. Yeah, but it's all about sustaining that effort. Let's hope he can do it. Kane showing some expert prowess here. Oh, he's such a tough target. These superstars wearing the wounds right now of what has been an absolutely thrilling matchup. like. Corey, tell me, just how much strength is carrying your opponent around like this take? Let's put it this way, Cole. Saxton would never be able to do it. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Oh, oh, oh. Miz was able to get out of the way there. The Miz is showboating, but I'm not sure this occasion calls for it. The Miz is showboating, but I'm not sure this occasion calls for it. The Miz is looking in this. And the Miz delivers the snap DDT, and that should do it. But can he follow up here? The Miz with the offense. Oh man, the Miz is in trouble. Triple H looking to end it. Pedigree. Warm up the bus. This one is over. He could pin his opponent right here. It's over. Three. What a match. I mean, what an unbelievable match. What a victory. WWE scholars in the future will look back at this Hell in a Cell match as one of the greatest of all time.